So some people ask me, oh, is it easy to make some friends in Japan? If I live in Japan, So today I have no script actually, so I'm gonna talk something randomly. Is that okay? Sure, why not? So, you know, some of you guys might know that I lived in Canada. It was about 1.5 years ago. Yeah, it was about 1.5 years ago. And yeah, it was middle of pandemic. When I got there, uh, it wasn't a pandemic, but after the maybe one one or two months later pandemic occurred i couldn't go out really and my shift no job was cut it and yeah it was really hurt and the most hurt part was i couldn't make really a lot of friends so actually i didn't expect that i come across the culture shock first day so it was marijuana. I've been talking about it a lot, but it was kind of shock for me because I got before I go to Canada, I've heard a lot of rumor of marijuana or drugs. And actually, most Japanese people don't know what it's uh, differences between like cocaine, chocolate or something, and you know marijuana. Actually, I was shocked and I was so surprised and. At the same time, I thought, oh, I want to text my friend, Japanese friend lives in Japan. And I was like, hey, guys, actually, I saw marijuana. My friends was like, really? And they, they, they seem really like interested, you know. So as if I'm the only one have seen marijuana in the world. But actually, I have never talked about it to my mother and father so if i talk about to them they would think oh that's not good canada is not good or something like that so like even now i haven't talked about it to them you know yeah so 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 that's the really culture differences actually i've been talked about how friendly foreigners are like a lot and some of you guys comment me like actually it's not a correct not every foreigner are friendly or something like that but actually many foreigners are so friendly compared to japanese because like in japan even if it's a necessary conversation we don't really talk for example if we are in the elevator and then there's a guy uh, in front of the button and then i'm far from the button and but even if i think oh I cannot press the button, but we wouldn't ask him to press the button. We never do that, actually. And we just we just uh, try to press the button. Like, uh, <laughs> so, but in Canada, Canadians are so friendly, you know. Foreigners are so friendly. So they definitely ask people, oh, which floor? Uh, which floor you wanna go or something like that so especially young Japanese people are so shy like uh, but people who live in countryside or like uh, o more older people they are really open to talk to stranger actually so that's why I really prefer people who live in like a uh, countryside so some people ask me oh is it easy to make some friends in Japan if I live in Japan, but let me say, it's not easy actually, because most Japanese people are so shy, and most pe Japanese people don't speak English. But some of them they wanna learn English. So, so if you have any hobby, I think it's easy to make friends. Like for me, actually, most foreigner friends are from YouTube. Like they they have a YouTube channel, and. I think if I don't have a YouTube channel, I think it's not easy to make a foreigner friend. You guys might know the application which is called Hello Talk, and actually, uh, Oriental Pearl, I found her on Hello Talk at first, and I DM her, and I've been watching her videos, and maybe 
about my ears and then when I found her I was like really why this famous youtuber is on the hello talk what the coincidence I should DM her and then I should DM I DM her ah hello you must be oriental pro right and I've been watching your videos and I want to see you my friend konnichiwa my dude Raikun also I also found him on hello talk and I DM him oh we should collaborate sometimes so before I meet oriental pro I mean I thought uh, meeting with her by myself is not good and because I have just small small tiny channel so I should invite some Japanese friends for her channel to collaborate you know it's only me it's not enough for her big channel and I invite some Japanese friend who has a YouTube channel and I met her and for the first time so hello talk is really good uh, application for making some friends so while I was in Canada I also made some friends from hello talk and I just put the something uh, I'm looking for someone who can play tennis who wants to play tennis with me and I made some friends who like to play tennis it's really good making friends in hello talk actually I realized foreigners tend to invite their friends when we hang out actually but actually i really really like the culture so it's really easy to make some friends from there so, so compared to foreigner we japanese people don't really invite our friend to another friend so so that's why it's not easy to make some friends in japan compared to your country because japanese people are so shy yeah and anyway thank you for watching and i hope you have a nice day see you later bye I scream, you scream, we all scream for We, we scream, all scream, scream. I scream. Okay, go. I scream, you scream, I scream, all scream. I scream, go. I scream, you scream, I scream, all I scream. Try, try not to look at. Try not to. I scream for all. I scream. Thank you very much. Thank you for your cooperation.